if you want to work with ground station engineering, and uh, there are many opportunities for, for an electrical background, but also on spacecraft themselves, because they need to adjust the angle of the solar panel so it hits the, the solar radiation perfectly. They need maybe sometimes to control the direction of the antenna so it hits also the earth. And there are also some other electrical motors in gyros and so on. The thing that I'm responsible from day to day since many years now is uh, the monitoring and control of the ground stations that we have. So this means that we have, we have a centralized system here in ESOC that is able to, to schedule and to send commands to the individual ground stations how to uh, prepare and how to configure for the next spacecraft pass that is going to be taken. So we need to talk to industry that prepares this equipment for us and agree the protocols or the language that is going to be spoken and the functionalities that, uh, that needs to be covered by this monitoring and control system. I did all of my studies back in Norway, so I'm Norwegian. And um, initially I started to study for craftsmanship, so to learn to do something with my hands. So I started to study electro and then electronics. And then there was one specialization possible in Norway that was called uh, space technology. And this was very tempting, so I was hoping to manage this. Then I studied in a university, also electro, electronics and space technology. And uh, finally, a master degree in space technology. Norway is in a quite unique position because um, we control some ground segments, some ground stations that are on Svalbard and that are close to the South Pole also. So we have a lot of uh, activity with tracking uh, satellites, polar orbiting satellites already. Uh, so our studies were shaped to be able to support this, uh, this activity in Norway and ESA was a natural part already. On each ground station there is a group of people that operates the ground station locally and to do the maintenance of the ground station. They need to be presented with displays that shows uh, uh, how their systems in the ground stations are performing and when they need maintenance. So I need uh, to make sure that these people are trained to understand what uh, the system is saying to them, but also that they can give feedback to us on what kind of uh, behavior they expect from the system when they operate it locally. For routine missions, we are um, operating the ground stations from this central point here in ESOC, in Darmstadt. We have to make sure that this is clear enough that you can understand really what's going on in Spain or in Australia with that ground station. We need to go there sometimes to, uh, to see how the maintenance is done. Uh, sometimes to upgrade the subsystems of the ground station. I was in Perth in Australia in February uh, in connection with a launch of a new rocket from Franz Guiana where we did uh, ground operation management from the ground station to make sure that on the first uh, flyby of this rocket and its spacecraft that we could deliver data, good data to the missions. Mm -hmm.